Hi guys, this is official Signal Construction News Channel for Kongmat. I'm Landy. We are happy to see you again here. Our news is weekly update. Now let's review to what happened on China's construction machinery industry last week. XCMG Group, which ranked fourth in the world, was very busy overseas last week. Let's take a look at more details about XCMG in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is one of the important countries in the Belt and Road Initiative. It has a liquefied natural gas plant that is currently under construction. The project has successfully purchased many new cranes from XCMG. For the first time, the general contractor of the project purchased midstream and downstream equipment in China. And due to the quality and competitive price of Chinese equipment, 90% of the related equipment of the project was purchased from China. Given a big hand from XCMG cranes, the construction of the plant has been fully carried out, and it plans to start commissioning operations in the second half of this year. As proven natural gas reserves of 340 million cubic meters, Uzbek's times becomes one of the major oil and gas resource countries in Central Asia. XCMG equipment has become the core strength in construction projects all over Uzbek's time because of its leading technology, super performance, and reliable quality. We haven't done yet with XCMG. I believe you might have not seen XCMG's drones. XCMG challenged the unmanned construction among the mountains, which was the first application in the world of unmanned technology to highway export pavement construction. Let's have a look. Recently, XCMG's drones are being put to use on construction work site of Panda Highway. As the world's first expressway using drone group construction, the construction site of the Panda Highway has caused widespread attention and unlimited expectations of the majority of construction robots. Panda high-speed asphalt pavement construction completely adopts UAV unmanned aerial vehicle group technology and it has successfully realized the unmanned operation of the equipment under complex working conditions. The construction track is accurately controlled at 2 to 3 cm, which greatly improves the construction quality and greatly saves operation cost. The UAV unmanned aerial vehicle group is equipped with multi level safety precautions, real time monitoring of on site construction conditions, which can achieve automatic warning, emergency stop, automatic entry and exit, automatic obstacle avoidance and other safety protection of road construction. We don't want to leave Liu Gong aside. Liu Gong for Lift Corporation Limited, holding a delivery ceremony of 80 for lifts to the Middle East. The year of 2020 is destined to be an extraordinary year for Liu Gong. The COVID-19 epidemic has cast a shadow on Liu Gong's overseas market. But it is still not easy to stop Liu Gong's business from advancing continuously, and it has achieved certain breakthroughs. The 80 orders of a total of 200 orders came from Egypt, and it is mainly for Coca-Cola and its distributors. The first batch of 80 units was delivered on June 5th, and the second batch of 120 units will be shipped by the end of this year. This is another breakthrough in the overseas market. Since the Liu Gong Series C product were exported to Mexico cement groups, Semac, with 67 orders in 2019, which has broken the historical record of the sales amount and the quality of single customers of Liu Gong's forklift in the overseas market. Zoom Lion ZCC9800W, which ranked 10th in the world of construction machinery companies, knocks on the door of Europe to take a first step toward European wind power market. On May 24, in the crawler crane base of Hunan Lugu Industry Park of Zoom Lion, the product of ZCC9800W 
which independently developed by Zunwai Heavy Industry, was split and loaded on nearly 50 flatbed trucks and got ready to go aboard to Turkey from port of Shanghai. ZCC 9800W crawler crane is praised by the industry as a wind power hoisting artifact. The export of this product has created the largest tonnage record of Chinese construction cranes exported to the European high-end market. The buyer who purchased this DCC 900W is Turkey's largest and world's top 10 crane hoisting and leasing company. And this company has always had very high standards and requirements in equipment purchasing. The person in charge of the procurement said, the DCC 900W is the world's first full operation configuration, which complies with the CE certification and the European emission standards, as well as meeting our requirements for product in terms of customization and intelligent manufacturing technology. At the same time, the product conforms to our concept of intelligent equipment operation management and safety. There are authoritative opinions in the industry saying this is a good beginning for Zoomline ZCC 900W entering the European market to serve one of the world's three major power joints on first export. In the future, this joint hoisting fan equipment will be transferred to Europe and the Middle East to demonstrate its trends for a wider range of European customers. Shanghai plans to invest 5 million yuan to establish a branch office in Indonesia. As an international strategic development consideration to further develop overseas markets, Shantui Hong Kong Holding Corporation Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of Shantui Construction Machinery Import and Export Corporation Limited, will invest in establishing a branch company with its own fans in Jakarta, Indonesia. Shantui Indonesia Company's registered capital is 750,000 US dollars. The final name of the new branch office has not been decided yet, and it will be subject to industrial and commercial administration registration. In 2020, Hanley Hydraulic Supplementary Business for Excavators is expected to exceed expectations and maintain to outperform the industry. The person in charge of Hanley Hydraulic saying, Hydraulic product was in short supply in February, and all in the production line operated at full capacity in April. In May, production and sales volume reached a historical peak since the company was founded. Scheduled production in June continued to attend high double digit growth year on year. On June 1st, CGGC International Limited and Bison Power PTE Limited signed Australian Bundyberg Solar Farm 85 megawatts photovoltaic power plants energy performance certificate contract agreement, which successfully broke through the new overseas market of Australia. This is a significant achievement of the company's participation in the construction of renewable energy projects in the US regional market. The project is located in the city of Bandberg in southeastern Queensland, Australia. It is about 385 kilometers from Brisbane, the state capital. The project covers an area of 146.6 acres. This project is mainly to build an 85 megawatts photovoltaic power station in the matching transmission and transformation lines. Once the project is completed, it will effectively improve local power supply capacity, providing an impetus for economic growth. With the technology development and the gradual improvement of environmental protection standards, clean energy will become an important force in the growth of world energy demand. China in terms of high-quality international cooperation in new energy will usher in a new opportunity. And at the same time, the achievement of this cooperation is of great significance for CGGC International Limited to promote the intensive development of the Oceania market. 
The total gross income of the world's 250 largest international contractors has increased by 3.1% year on year, ending the previous three consecutive years of decline. However, with the profound adjustment of the global political and economic situation in 2018 and the intensification of global trade conflicts since 2019, there have had a greater impact on the global engineering contracting market. According to the latest statistics from the engineering news records, the overseas income of the top 250 engineering news record international contractors in 2019 totally reached 487.29 billion US dollars, a slight increase of 1% year on year, which barely maintains the growth trend. As part of 2021 Changsha International Construction Equipment Exhibition, 2020 Changsha International Construction Equipment After Market Trade Conference was held in June 4th, which was the first large scale construction event in China after the COVID 19 pandemic has stabilized across the country. The Chinese government is accelerating the strategic deployment of building a strong manufacturing country and it is committed to building a world-class advanced manufacturing cluster, as well as the Changsha Hunan provincial government, who is also vigorously promoting the deployment of the high-quality equipment manufacturing industry. Changsha is one of the two cities in China that owns four of the world's top 50 construction machinery companies, received great support from the government, to get closer to the dream of becoming the world-class construction machinery industrial cluster. You may be wondering how Changsha government and industrial association view the international development of the local manufacturing industry and what the specific support has been given, etc. As regards to this, you can find the following interviews links as shown below. This is Mr. Ma Tian Yi the Deputy Director of Hunan Provincial Department of Industry and Information Technology, and Mr. Wu Jingsheng, the Secretary General of Changsha Construction Machinery Industry Association. Now we're providing China's construction machinery news with 165 nations. Subscribe us on YouTube and official website. Comments, likes, or share will definitely be great support for us. We want you to watch, share, and make comments on our Signal Construction News. Okay, thank you for watching. I miss you guys and see you next week.